So as, a, as I was re-examining my own field, uh, and from a skeptic's point of view of, is the Darwinian interpretation of genetics correct? Uh, one of the things I realized was that the mutation rate is very high. And at the time I was reading in the textbooks that it might be two or three mutations per person, per generation. And that was, um, I realized if, if everybody's getting two or three more mutations than their parents had, then everybody in the population is mutant, and every next generation should be more mutant than the previous generation. As I looked at it more carefully, I found out that the reason they were saying the mutation rate was two or three per person per generation was because they were assuming that most of the genome is junk and they weren't counting mutations in the junk. So when you actually uh, you know, disregard how much, what part of the genome is junk, the actual mutation rate is uh, in the range of 100 point mutations per generation. That means that each one of us has about 100 more mutations than our parents. And if we have children, each one of our children will have about 100 more mutations than we have, which is phenomenal because it's orders of magnitude higher than what, uh, what even the theorists were concerned about. In fact, one of the early, uh, most famous uh, population geneticists, Mueller, said if the mutation rate goes above one, every species will go extinct. And, and the fact that it's near 100 is very disturbing from that point of view. In fact, it kind of blows your mind. So some of the authors uh, do get more explicit about the rate of degeneration. There was a very major paper published uh, in PNAS, Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, by a very prestigious population geneticist uh, and that population geneticist said, well, we're definitely de degenerating. His calculations were we're de re degenerating at one to five percent per generation. That's really fast. If your bank account was shrinking that fast per year, you'd be really worried. Um, and, but he went on to say, if the mutation rate is higher, and I think he's, his mutation rate estimates were low, uh, but he said, if they're higher, and he's obviously thinking maybe he's low too, because he put this in his paper, if the mutations are higher, we might be degenerating at 10% per generation. That's uh, catastrophic. Um, that means, you know, do the numbers, you realize wherever you're starting from, you don't take too many generations before you face some type of um, population collapse. So I would say that genetic degeneration is a huge problem. Uh, in fact, this same author said he, he feels in the next few hundred years we will see significant impairment of human physiological and neurological functionality. Since uh, the trajectory is downward, and actually when we do our numerical simulations, it shows a, a rapid decline in fitness for any population that has mutation rates like this, uh, we, we are clearly headed for extinction regardless of how much natural selection we apply. You'd still have, you can't get rid of the mutations as fast as they're flooding in, and even the best people are still more mutant than their parents, and so this process is irrevocable. You can't reverse it. And so, uh, so people ask me, well, how long before I go extinct? I will not go on the line and make guesses, but I, I believe that Christ will come before we go extinct, so it doesn't matter. But it is very disturbing.